We're back again with Randy Varnell, creative director for Battleborn. Um, we've got here some amazing figurines. All my children. I know, they're only <laughs> available at game, only yes. when you pre-order Battleborn as well. So talk to us about maybe some of the characters here, maybe the, uh, the people at home can uh, have a sneak peek of what's... Uh, Sure, so just really quickly yeah. to, to name the characters. Uh, over here we have Miko, one of our great support characters. Mm. Thorn, an amazing kind of fast-moving sniper. Montana, a big defender with a minigun. Orindi, who's called the Chaos Witch, really fast with magic. And Wrath, our amazing, very fast-moving melee swordsman, good combo attack. So uh, just a little bit, we want to talk about a few of the characters. Okay, Miko is one of our favorites. Miko is really cool, kind of very uh, kung fu martial arts inspired with a lot of Miko's moves. We're not sure whether Miko is a he or a she or a whatever. It's kind of, we call it an it, you know, in there. But Miko comes from this giant sentient fungus planet. Uh, it was part of a larger colony of other Mikos, I guess, that, that, was, that lived for millions of years. It's in fact, in the big Battleborn timeline of the universe that I wrote to get the game sorted out, uh, the, the, the Miko's planets coming into existence is the first point on the timeline, like a million years, like a billion years ago or whatever. It's a long time ago. Miko, awesome support character, healer, really good at doing that. Miko can actually take off this little Miko head and throw it down on the ground. You did that playing Miko earlier today. That was awesome to watch. Heals all the enemies around it. Montana, the big guy. Montana is an amazing guy. Uh, this is, he's, a, he's a great visual illustration of why you should never skip leg day. Um, but Montana, massive guy, tiny little head, tiny ankles, great minigun. And you know, in the game, you get to Montana. Uh, he is so good natured. Montana just loves being here. He's everybody's friend. He's a kind of a big, a big guy, but he is not afraid to point that minigun at, at bad guys and, and blow them up. Really neat, uh, really neat guy. Big tank, tank of a guy. Uh, Wrath is our art director, Scott Kester, is one of his favorite characters forever. Uh, Wrath uh, was originally described when I talked earlier about Laser Samurai Katana Vampire. You can see all of those pieces kind of in Wrath. A member of the Generate faction. Uh, Wrath, really great. He has three swords uh, Axiom, Praxis, and Precept are the name of his swords. Uh, he actually forged the big buster sword out of the defeated swords of his foes. You can learn some, some lore about him in the background. But really fast moving, really great kind of a ninja combo type of things with the swords. Uh, a little bit of life steal that sustains him in combat, but uh, really good at, at hunting down individual targets, knocking them up in the air and, and taking them out. But uh, he was um, uh, 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 in the generate in the backstory. Wrath used to be a, uh, a bodyguard for the Empress of the Generate Empire. There's really deep lore there for you. Uh, when Rindane betrayed them all and, and exiled the Empress, Wrath had to leave the Empire because his loyalties really were to the Empress, uh, and he has now gone on the hunt, and he has vowed to kill Rindane. So maybe you as a Battleborn can take Wrath and take that fight right to Rindane and destroy Rindane and save the last star. Awesome. Thanks for giving us a little bit of backstory on the characters here. Remember, guys, that these are only available at game when you pre-order Battleborn. So get to it. Go get one of these. It's amazing. Hey guys, it's Rafi from Game, and we're here with Randy Varnell from Gearbox Software, and we're talking about Inc Incursion, a new game mode for Battleborn. Now tell us, uh, what are the main differences in standard MOBA and Battleborn Incursion? Well, first off, you know, in standard MOBA, you're playing top-down characters. You kind of have that old RTS-style control. I mean, one of the awesome things about Battleborn is we bring that very comfortable first-person shooter-style control to all your characters. So it's a very comfortable movement scheme, very familiar controls if you played any other first-person shooter games before. Uh, so Incursion captures a little bit of that MOBA feel, but really brings it to the first-person angle. So not only do you have the controls, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of elevation. You can get some perches in a few places of the map. Uh, we have a couple of places built out specifically for snipers that really kind of channel it in. Uh, and then some, some uh, other areas. Now, if you're comparing it to like other standard uh, mobile game modes, we, uh, we bring in...